guys, welcome back to Monster Misfits. Today we're gonna to do something a little different, but still keeping it creepy. So what I got here is, uh, let me try to get some stuff out of the way. So what I got here is a uh, gumball machine. Now, this does not fit on this for some reason. It's like it's missing a part, but uh, we're gonna work around that. So, we're going to take this thing apart, we're going to clean it up, give it a nice paint job, and uh, what we're going to put inside of this is I got a couple of these things from uh, Lord Grimley Manor, uh, these little, uh, let me show you, these little guys right here, so I think they're cool. I'm gonna poke a hole in that and I'm gonna stick it right down in the middle of that where he sits in there. And uh, we're gonna put him inside the gumball machine. Now I have a dark one and I also have a light one. So I bought two of them. So there's the light one. This 360, so that makes it even all the more cooler. So we'll stick one of these inside this gumball machine and uh, see how it looks. So you want to stay tuned and see to the end. Now, like I said, we have to clean this up. I've actually got two gumball machines. So here's the other one I have. This is a smaller one. And we'll probably eventually do something with it as well. But right now, we're going to work on this bigger one. You can see the size difference. And this, this one's still got actual gumballs in it and they look like they've been wore out. So uh, we don't want to chew none of that. So what we're going to do is take this apart. I've already took the bolts and everything out of there. So put them where I can make sure I find them. And uh, we need to paint these bad boys. We also need to clean up this globe, and so we'll clean this off, we'll put it in some water and clean it up. And uh, we'll just take all the mechanism stuff out of it. And uh, we will see, we'll have to clean this off with, get the paint off of that, or paint it one or the other. We had to get the try to get the paint off of that there as well. So there we go. Now we've got it all apart. We will take and uh, we'll just clean some of this up, and uh, we'll give it a paint job. So what we're doing, we're just gonna wipe it down with some alcohol. Just try to clean it up. Get some of the junk off of it and try to get any oils and stuff off of it that may be on it. Okay, here's what we got now. We've got our base painted, and now we're going to stick it back together. All right, so now we're just sticking it back together. We painted it, and it just goes on like that. So we just stuck that on. Where your bubble gum falls in, slides on, it holds that on, and this is the gear mechanism that turns the thing of a bob, and this is for 
the glass. So probably what I want to do is try to see if I can clean that off. Okay, got that cleaned off. Now we need to put the globe on. So we've cleaned the globe up. So that's how that goes together. But now we need to take the globe and stuff back off and we need to put one of these guys inside. And I think I'm gonna go with a darker one just because it'll go good with the red. So we'll set it to the side. So now what we need to do is we need to put this guy all the way down on that and i think the best way to do because we're going to have to drill a hole in that is just drill uh, a hole all the way through this and to the top of his head that way we can see him down in there like he should So from here on out guys, it's just kind of adjusting it how we want it, how we want it. And we just have to keep adjusting on it until we get it. Probably don't even need this. We can probably just do that.
Okay. So now, <coughs> stick this on. going to have to be something underneath with that or that's not going to work either Okay, so they got that, kind of got this where we want it, that's all I got to do is to fix this thing here. So that should have had something to screw on and there wasn't, it was on this, but as you can tell. It wasn't in the best of shape. So we had to do some minor adjusting on it to get it to work correctly. So hopefully we got her now. We will find out here in a minute. Okay. So there we go. There's our guy. Uh, so what we had to do is we put this piece of wood in there and we cut it down for the screwner so now we're able to adjust it on both ends since uh since this bottom piece was busted up and there was no fixing this uh we could have cut a circle out and redid the whole thing but instead we opted to do it this way okay so here Here's the base. What I had to do is I had to tighten the legs up on this thing. And now we want to try to fix this on top here if we can, which we're not going to be able to. So in order for me to do something like that, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to have to do. That's just a lot of, a lot of mess. All right, so this is kind of what I had to do to make a base for this uh, thing to set on is a, I cut out a piece of plywood, three-inch plywood to be able to set on top of this and to be able to put, we can glue this down to this here and glue this to our gumball machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some uh, liquid nails on this here to glue it down. I wish I had some uh, pure 100% silicone. I don't, but that would be the way to do it. And I don't have a caulking gun, so how are we going to get this out? I uh, guess we're just going to pop it out, drill a hole in it, pop it out. So this is what I'm doing is I just put my drill in there and drilled a hole in it. Now I have access to the gook inside. 
So that's going to be a little messy, so I'll put some gloves on for that. So this is probably happens to your garage, probably about like it does mine. I start out with a hundred uh, cocking guns, down to zero. So I have no clue where they all went. Uh, they're probably in here somewhere, but since we can't find it, we're going to do it a little bit old school. We're just going to scrape some of this out, squeeze it out this way. So now we got as a stick. So I'll just put some goop all over this down inside. Okay. There we got that. I want to take these off because I don't want to get all over the machine that we just painted. So, okay. Man, if that didn't work out perfect. So there you go guys, there's our gum, gum bomb machine that we put, I think he's calling these minions, and uh, I'll tell you where I got them at, Lord uh, Grimley Manor, uh, he's the guy or the people that's making these little guys here, and I will show you again, so there's different color ones, I got a, a gray one and a black, uh, a gray one and a I guess a dark gray one. So this is kind of what it looks like. And it is 360, which is cool. I'll put a hole in the bottom of it and out his top so we can stick him inside of that gumball machine. I think it looks pretty freaking cool. So, uh, some kind of an embryo, embryo, Lord Grimley Manor. So go check them out if you want one of these pieces, which I think I only paid 25 bucks. Uh, I paid $22.50 for these a piece. So it's well worth it. Uh, so I suggest you go check them out and order you, order you a couple of these. They're pretty freaking cool. And uh, I will try to put the link in the description below it, but if not, you have the name of where I got it at. Cause I forget half the time. So, but there's our gumball machine. Uh, you saw me kind of restore the gumball machine. We restored the whole thing, cleaned it up, made it pretty, along with the base. We had to cut a piece of 3 8 plywood and everything for the bottom for it to sit on. Then we had to cut a piece for the inside for the screw and everything to uh, go on to. I think he turned out pretty doggone good. Uh, of course, you can stick your money in there, but you ain't gonna get no gumball. But maybe we'll get lucky and he starts laying some eggs and get some uh, uh, alien eggs or something. It, it, you, can, you, can, you can just let your imagination go wild with this. Also, there's another option that you can probably do with this, guys, is you can put a, uh, a bottom in this glass and seal, like a piece of plexiglass or something and seal it up with some pure silicone. Do the same with the top of the pure silicone and fill this thing with water or some kind of liquid so he's setting in liquid. But this is just something that you can do with uh, pieces and parts. We know we got a base. The base did not go with this, but we made it work. And uh, the alien did not go with this, but we made it work. So. It's just something different that you can stick around in your house or if you wanted to put in your hunt, you could, I guess. But uh, I thought this would be a pretty cool little oddity or something like that, that, uh, you know, just something to play with. Uh, just kind of use your imagination and 
and let it run wild and go with it. So anyway, I will show you a, sh a slow motion uh, video of this up close so you can kind of see how it all looks. So there you go guys there's our gumball machine with the alien inside i think he turned out pretty cool it just kind of fit it just turned out perfect so what we had to do is we painted this base and we painted this and cleaned up the glass and stuff on it because it had different kind of paint all over and you saw we had to redo the bottom and uh so we made it work i think she turned out pretty good i'm just not sure exactly where we're going to put it at but uh I think it turned out pretty stinking good. So we hope you guys enjoy. Uh, still kind of works. <laughs> hope we don't get no alien eggs. But anyway, guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to go over and check out my trio of brothers. That's David the Weird Kid Show and Keith at Cobwebs and Candlesticks. Uh, come and check out our trio of terror Facebook group and our Monster Misfits group we'd love to have you show us some of your creepy builds or something that you did like this and took some pieces and parts and put them together and make something out of them we'd love to see them anyway guys we hope you enjoy the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video keep it creepy